U.S. President Donald Trump might have to release his tax records against his will. The Supreme Court has ruled that the U.S. leader should hand over his financial records to prosecutors in New York. Trump has come under before for fire for not making his tax returns public, like his predecessors have done. His lawyers had argued that he enjoyed total immunity while in office and that Congress had no valid justification to seek the information. In this latest ruling, the court agrees, ruling that the information did not have to be shared with Capitol Hill. Well, let's cross over to Washington, D.C., where we can speak to Euronews' Colin Campbell. Colin, despite this Supreme Court ruling, will the public eventually be able to see these tax returns? Well, eventually, that's the big question. I mean, Thursday, we saw a president in defiance after the Supreme Court ruled 7-2 to two that no president is above the law and that Congress indeed does have the right to subpoena the president's tax records. Now, of course, this goes against what the president's attorney, Jay Sekulow, was saying with that they would not have to release his tax, tax records because of the president's executive authority. And his attorney said he would be immune to any congressional request. Now, the president himself painted himself as a victim, as he did during the Mueller investigation, saying that he's basically the target of a witch hunt and that this is just partisanship at its very most exploitive state. Now, what happens with this case, because the Supreme Court ruled this, they also suggested that the case would need to go to a lower court to assess separation of powers. They said they were well aware that because the request was coming from a democratically controlled House of Representatives, that this subpoena could be weaponized, in essence, in a partisan manner. So now it goes back to a New York court where it will have to be assessed, and this could take months. So any Democrats who are looking to use this as political leverage before the November elections, the very crucial November elections, may not be able to do so and would be strongly disappointed. This could take well into the to the bottom of this year into next year before the president is actually forced to release his tax records if it happens.